beautiful day out here. So y'all, hope y'all having a beautiful best day. Hope y'all getting out in nature. Hope y'all sun gazing. Hope y'all taking care of yourself. Hope y'all doing y'all thing. My nigga Edward is, he's not in the background, but he's all the way over there somewhere. But uh, we about to go to the spot now. Um, Crazy shit has been happening to me over these last few days. And uh, man, it really is a spiritual war, I'll tell you that much. That's all I'll go into it on this in this video. That's all I'll go into it is this hey, it's a spiritual war. Take care of yourself, you know what I'm saying? Really take care of yourself. Whew. But yeah, it's a beautiful day out here. Look at that. Just look at that. You know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful day. But um yeah, this video is about African hair, dreadlocks, froze, curls, all that, all that goodness. Why you should have dreadlocks, why you should not have a weave in your hair. Do not put weave in your hair. You shouldn't even, if you are a female, don't even straighten your hair. Why you shouldn't straighten your hair. This is this is what this video is going to be all about okay african hair why you should grow it out why you should maintain it i know for females it can be a little harder is what i've heard that's a little harder to maintain your hair you know but love yourself all right love yours that's what it's all about you know what i'm saying and damn i'm fucking tripping I'm gonna get drunk as hell but uh the, the, the hardest things are the best things for you. Remember that? Look at me going. But, um, best things for you are the hardest things for you. So African hair. That's what this video is all about. Let's get into it. All right. The truth about African hair. That's what I'm going to title this video. Because that's not that's no clickbait right there. That's some true shit. African hair. There is a truth about African hair that people do not know. Look at it, bro. I'm sorry. Look at that shit, bro. God damn beautiful out here but yeah there's a truth about african hair that people do not know people always wonder why uh, why is our hair so nappy you know what i'm saying nappy it's not nappy my nigga it's curled it's twisted it's coiled okay remember that word that's a buzzword right there coiled coiled okay all right so like i was saying the things that conduct the most electricity are coils you know you have a coil it will conduct electricity your hair is coiled. Your hair conducts electricity. Okay? That's why when you rub it with a balloon or some shit, it sticks up. Right? White people hair sticks up too. But our hair sticks up more because it's coiled. Right? It conducts electricity. Okay. So why do I say that? Why do I even explain that? Because when you have dreadlocks, that's why, I, okay, when you have dreadlocks, your the knowledge that you like get from the sun and the knowledge you get from the trees and just nature in general it stays within you okay that's why when people have you noticed this shit people with long dreads and shit they have the most knowledge why do all these motherfucking spiritual youtubers have fucking dreads and all that shit that's because that's like it keeps the knowledge bro it keeps like your hair is like books my nigga it's like books it's like data right oh, it's like data and that goes into why you shouldn't wear weave for all my beautiful black melanated females out there my beautiful black queens okay not put weave in your hair stop putting weave in your hair bro it it makes your hair dead because it blocks out the sun Okay, the sun, we're going to get into this shit in a minute, but the sun literally powers your hair and it literally grows your hair and it restain, it puts data in your hair and it gives you knowledge, all right? So when you put weave in your hair, you blocking that shit out, okay? And that's why you, sometimes you see females, they got weave in their hair, but their hair all fucked up and shit and it's not growing. Why is it not growing? Because they not letting their shit breathe okay you, you're not letting your shit breathe okay and see these trees right here see these trees right here 
you, my friend, my melanated being, you are exactly like these trees, all right? I'm gonna get into that shit too. Listen, have you noticed we are trees, bro? We have trees have froze. We have froze. You know what I'm saying? Trees have long hair. We have long hair. Our hair is like a tree, bro. And this is gonna get into uh, why you should, um, like how to grow out your hair. All right, let's get into that right now. How to grow out your hair. Okay, so I've been growing my hair about two years. Two years, literally. Two years, bro. And my shit is, my shit's long. Like, I don't know if y'all can see it, but my shit's long, bro. And it would, it would look longer if I had a retwist, but I haven't had a retwist in a fat ass minute. So, yeah, bro, my shit long. And my one of my white homies actually told me this, bro. He was like, your hair is like a plant, bro. And all you really need to do to grow out your hair is uh get out in the sun and put water in it. Right? And stop wearing hats. Stop wearing hats. That blocks out the sun, obviously. Anything that blocks out the sun, don't, don't fuck with it. Right? So, yeah. If you want to grow your hair out, all you got to do, all you have to do is get out in the sun. Get out in the sun and put water in your hair and it will grow like a motherfucker, bro. All you have to do, bro, go to your crib, get a little, get one of them water squirt things. Look at this shit. Ooh. No. Get one of them water squirts things, right? And then go outside and your hair will grow like a motherfucker, bro. I, I put that on my life, dog. Your hair will grow like a motherfucker. Oh, God. All right. They want us to not like our hair. They want us to feel ashamed of our hair. That's why, yeah. If you look up on Google, unprofessional hairstyles, dreads, and fucking froze, and all this shit will come up. Why does it come up? Because it's subconscious, right? It wants us. It it wants us to hate ourselves. That's the whole subconscious. That's the whole thing about um, melanated beings in our race is that they want us subconsciously to hate ourselves. Even when some shit looks good, bro, it's subconsciously telling you that black people ain't shit and we should think that we ain't shit. But that's a whole nother video. All right, that's a whole nother motherfucking video. For now, we just gonna talk about loving yourself. Love your hair, bro. If you're a melanated female, bro, grow dreads, bro. I like that shit, bro. I like that shit, bro. All my homies, they like that shit. They don't like weaving shit, all right? I mean, you know, I'm not gonna judge you for what you what you put in your hair like what i'm not gonna judge you i'm just saying bro like throw your hair out make that shit get that shit curly you know what i'm saying get that shit long grow dreads you know do your thing stop stop putting weeds in your hair because it literally is blocking out the sunlight it's blocking out the sun you need the sun you need the sun to be all over your body really oh god so yeah stop fucking with that weed shit it's white girl hair you don't want no goddamn white girl hair you know what i'm saying the hair is dead no offense to my Caucasians out there, but y'all hair is dead, bro. Our hair is like trees. Our hair is alive. That's why it sticks up. It sticks up because it is alive. Caucasians hair slides down and it sits down because it is dead, okay? They have dead hair. Sorry, but like, I'm not trying to be racist or nothing. I'm just like, that's just facts, okay? Can't get mad. All right, so your hair is like, your hair is like an antenna, okay? It can connect to other things it can connect to nature it can connect to the sun bro and then the more data like you gotta start thinking of yourself as a computer or like a phone because you really are a computer as a phone our body okay our body our body's technology all right so you gotta start thinking of your hair is like data bro my melanated beings we are trees you have to start thinking of your body as a tree because you are more you are closely more closely related to a fucking to these beautiful trees right here than a monkey than a chimpanzee that's what they try to put in your head that you are related to a chimpanzee you're not bro you're related to trees bro trees have melanin in them chimpanzees monkeys they do not have melanin in them okay the melanin that they have in them is the same melanin that uh caucasians have in them the melanin that trees have in them is the same melanin that we have in us, okay? No offense to my Caucasians, let's get in that race. I swear to God, I swear to God, this is just facts, bro. This is just facts. So you can get 
You can get mad at me, but this is just facts, bro. Like, look this shit up. I swear to God. All right, I'm not fucking playing. I don't just, I don't just spit bullshit. I'm speaking facts right now. So yeah, start thinking of yourself as a tree, bro. That's why grow out your hair. Grow out your hair. Like dreads, everybody's dreads look different. That's what I love about dreads, bro. Everybody's dreads look different, okay? So grow out your hair, get dreads, get a fro. You know what I'm saying? And I do not recommend braids. I don't recommend braids unless your hair is really long. And that's because when you have braids, it really doesn't like the magnetism. It kind of cuts off the magnetism. You know what I'm talking about? It cuts off the electricity. Okay. It cuts off the electricity that's within these. Okay. Because like when you have dreads, they coil. They coil and they stand up because that's electricity within you. When you have braids, they kind of sit down and it kind of cuts off the electricity. Now, okay, I don't, listen, I don't fucking care, bro. Have whatever hairstyle you want. I'm just telling you my truth and my facts and my research that I've done about this topic, all right? Have whatever, all right, guys. And this, uh, this goes into the agenda around it. It's all, um, I don't know what the fuck that was. But, uh, this goes into the agenda around it. It's all trying to make us hate ourselves. It's all trying to make us go outward, not inwards. Make us not love ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, love yourself, bro. You're beautiful. If you're an African queen, if you're a fucking African king, you know what I'm saying? Love yourself, bro. You're beautiful. Don't ever let anybody tell you you're not beautiful. Just because of your hair. I know. I know. I know in fucking, if you grew up, especially, uh, I grew up around uh, white people and black people, but, uh, you know, lived in Chicago for a few years, mostly, mostly black and Mexican population and moved to Bradley. So I know the motherfuckers be like, oh, you, you got nappy hair, your hair's so nappy, your hair nappy, you know, all this shit, fuck them niggas, bro, they're brainwashed, who gives a fuck about what they think, you know what I'm saying? Love yourself, bro. Why so in there? I don't know, be tweaking. <laughs> but um, love yourself, bro. Like these niggas don't matter, bro. These niggas don't matter. They have, they have nothing on you, bro. Your hair is beautiful. Your hair goes out. It absorbs the sun and it defines gravity. Come on, come on. You don't need no weave. You don't fucking. You don't need no weave. You don't. And this is for my African kings out there too. You don't need no curls or relaxers. I used to use that shit. The uh, curl, the relaxer type shit. You don't need that, bro. You don't fucking need that. You're fucking beautiful. Oh God, bro. When I see a when I see a fucking <clears throat> when I see an African queen, bro, with a fro. Oh, with some dreads? Whew. Oh, with some braids? Oh, my God. And it's all natural? Oh, my God, bro. That shit is beautiful. That shit beautiful, bro. It's almost as beautiful as this goddamn sunset. Whew. That shit beautiful. So, you got to love yourself, dog. You got to love yourself. You got that shit, man. You got that shit. These Caucasians, this, these elites, you know what I'm saying? They always trying to make us go outward. They always trying to make us hate ourselves. They always trying to do some agenda. You know what I'm saying? But they can't. They have nothing on us, bro. They have nothing. We are the trees. We've been here for trillions of years. You know, that's a whole nother video. But the basics of this video, I'm going to wrap this up right here. Love yourself. You are beautiful. You are a king. You are a queen. You're not even black. You are a melanated being. That is what you are. To love yourself, bro. All right. I'm out, y'all. Nice little sunset right there. Peace.